antenna review and installation coming your way right now. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Antenna X stud caps. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or finding out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Also, I want to give them a shout out for sending me this sweet t-shirt to wear during the review. So here's how it comes packaged to you in a really nice retail box. We can see we have a 1.5 inch and a 0.75 inch antenna. And then we have all the included mounting hardware on the back so this can fit your vehicle. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have both of your stud caps right here. They're both made out of billet aluminum painted black. They look great. We have some female adapters with a gasket right here. And then we have your male to male adapters as well to fit your vehicle. Now let's go ahead, let's get them installed. So before we install the antenna, I have an AM radio station that we don't really get. So I wanted to show you guys when we install this antenna, kind of have a baseline station here of what the current antenna does and what the new antenna will do in regards to signal strength and signal loss. So you can hear it right here. Really fuzzy and mumbled. Can't really understand everybody. And there's a lot of feedback. And then now I'll show you guys, let's go ahead, let's benchmark a radio station that works as well. This one will be on FM. We have 90.9 right here. Works just fine. So now let's go ahead, let's get that antenna installed. So there's the current antenna that we're gonna replace on this 2005 Chrysler Crossfire. The first step you need to do is go ahead and twist off the old antenna to get ready to twist on the new antenna. Now we're ready to install the antenna stud cap right here. Go ahead, make sure you select the proper attachment for your car. Gently thread it into place like so. Make sure that it's nice and tight in there and then gently just thread it right on to your car's antenna base. Making sure that it has a proper fit as well. Look at how nice, flush and sleek that looks right there on this Chrysler Crossfire. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. The inch and a half stud cap is installed right now. Let's go back to those two radio stations we tested out earlier with the OEM antenna and see how they sound. First up is 1420 AM. This was a fringe station that we weren't really getting good signal strength. So let's try it out here. I'd say it sounds really similar, maybe just maybe a smidge less in signal loss, but I'm not even positive. It sounds very close to that OEM antenna. Now let's go ahead, let's try out that FM radio station that we know we get in the area. That was 90.9. Look at how good it sounds. It sounds really good. Now let's try out the scan feature to see if that still works. I arrested them at an airport earlier this month with one-way tickets out of the U.S. You can see scan works great as well too. Now we're ready to install the stud cap right here. Go ahead, select the proper fitting from the package. Gently thread it into place, making sure it's nice and tight like that. Now you're ready to install it directly to the antenna base of the car and just tighten it up till it's nice and snug. Look at that nice flush fit. Looks really nice, super low profile. Really happy with how that fits on this 2005 Chrysler Crossfire. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we have the three quarter inch stud cap installed right now. Let's fire up those two stations we tried out earlier. The first one was 1420 AM. That was a fringe station we didn't really get with the OEM antenna. Let's see if we have any sort of signal boost or any sort of signal loss. So let's go ahead, let's listen to it. I can definitely tell it's not as clear as it was previously. So we did suffer a little bit of signal loss. Now let's try out the FM radio station that we know we get. It's symphony cast. 
featuring the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra. That sounds just right as good. You can't tell any difference. So I'm really impressed with that. Now let's see if the scan feature still works. It's still scanning and everything else on the radio works properly. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget if you're interested in that product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Also search my channel for some other great Antenna X unboxing and review videos of the products that you see here. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily. Don't want you guys to miss anything. Give us a follow on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Follow us on Twitch and join our Discord server. Thank you guys again for being here. Don't forget new content daily. And we can't wait to see you in our next video.